Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know. guys it's your girl nation g also known as glam is t and if you're new here welcome to the family god and if you already subscribed and you know how this go i missed you guys so much i always say that and it's probably only been a few days since y'all seen my last upload but i am back with one of my favorite type of videos you guys may not love them but i do it is a perfume video if you did not see my fall favorite perfume collection or faves i will link it above so make sure you guys check that out but today's video is going to be on how to properly start a perfume collection because i feel like i get a lot of answers as to how do you start where do you go how do you know what you like or what smells good so i'm gonna give y'all all the tips and are y'all feeling the bomb are y'all feeling the bomb okay make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you want to see how you get your collection started keep watching Okay, guys, so I have my little notebook here. This is my new little YouTube notebook, and I have five tips for y'all to start a collection, as long with a few fragrances in reference to the tips. So for the first tip, the very first tip is to take your body chemistry into account, and it coincides with coincides with tip number two. So when I say take your body chemistry into account, your body chemistry can change due to soap, different things, different products you use. If you do not wear perfume or you do not know or you're not familiar with different perfume scents, family stuff like that, what you may like may not really work by, well with your body chemistry. And that's okay. It doesn't mean that the perfume stinks. It doesn't mean that you stink. It just means that they don't mesh well together. Perfect example. I just got my mom a perfume for her birthday. I thought I would love this scent by reading the notes because it had like vanilla and cedarwood in it because those are my favorites. But on me, it smelled not the best. On her, smelled amazing she loved it and i knew it would work well with her because i know my mom's body chemistry because obviously i live with her so that leads me to tip number two so tip one make sure you get it down take and count your body chemistry do you use fragrance soap do you use a lot of heavy fragrance items and see exactly will that go with the perfumes that you per se like okay tip number two would be to take a online perfume finder quiz now you can find these i have them on the screen boom um you can take one at safari which i'll link down below and i believe rebel sense has one as well rebel sense if you've seen this you know let's work um you can figure out exactly what kind of scent that you per se like it asks you different questions about your personality do you like floral do you like sweets things like that to help you figure out exactly what you're looking for and then i'll give you some suggestions now with that being said i personally didn't have to do a perfume quiz because i've been wearing perfume for so so so, so long but i wanted to mention this one right here this is a classic scent this is versace yellow diamond which a lot of people get away with wearing it is a fresh but also a little fruity and flirty scent that honestly can go well with many 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 body chemistries so if you're in a state of okay i just want to start i just want to jump in try this one and see how it pairs with your body scent for me it's always very clean very fresh i get a lot of wear of this in the summer and springtime so those are my first two tips um my third tip start small start small y'all start small i have this one to show y'all start small and sample so this is the tory birch i don't even know it's like her signature scent i've had this little bottle for like two years because i had this one and i had the toilet so if you do not know perfumes come in perfume toilet and i forget the last one i'm gonna have it on the screen but literally it is so tiny i got it in the sephora section like the little try on haul section the little when you get out and they be taking all your money start small and sample i don't think that safari is giving out samples because of covid but if you can sample sample i have so many little ones that i first keep in my pocketbook and be always sample things to see how they wear on your body chemistry before you purchase the whole bottle just because it smells good it does not always pair well with your body chemistry and i cannot stress that enough because like i said the perfume smells great in the bottle but on you it will change like it will definitely change so start small start sampling different things start with signature scents you know and really just take it from there and if obviously if you like it like this i had this little bottle for forever and it has lasted me honestly like this little bottle has been on my dresser for like two years because i have other scents and i always like to keep this when i travel because it's so tiny and i said it came with this one and the toilet 
Number four, tip number four, start inexpensive. Quality over quantity, okay? Is there quantity over quality? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know. Start inexpensive. When I say start inexpensive, start with smaller bottles. So like the one ounces are usually the most inexpensive ones or even just smaller brands. So this is a perfume I got for Christmas. This is Coastal Scents. And y'all, this is a Target brand that my brother got for me. And y'all, it smells so... It smells so good. It is like a spice and some cedar wood. And I love this. I love this scent. It pairs so well for me. Yes, I don't spray the other one. I'm putting this one on too. This one, and I would wear this at nighttime, y'all. This is so bomb, and I believe it retails for like 25 bucks. I will have it on the screen or down below. Um, and like I said, you can get this at your local Target. If you can't find it, you can get it online. And I believe this is the Goodwill or Good Something um, collections. And they have a couple of scents. And then to mention that, I mean, to mention that one, you can also really try Marshall's TJ Maxx Start inexpensive they have good fragrances for you know a cut price so you can get Versace you may get this little bottle right here from TJ Maxx Marshalls for like 25 30 bucks do not and hear me clearly do not walk in Safari like yeah let me get Killian Love Don't Be Shy the big bottle for $240 and you don't even wear perfume like that or it don't work with your body chemistry don't do that. I mean, if you have it to blow, baby, that's your coin. I ain't trying to count them. You do you. Me personally, I always like to start small. And I personally like smaller bottles anyway, just because I do have multiple scents. So I don't buy three ounce bottles because honestly, it's going to last me for freaking ever. Like I said, this little, this not even an ounce. I don't even know how tiny this is. It's been here for two years, baby. Start inexpensive because your collection will grow and it will give you, it will give you, ooh, that smells so good. It will give you the opportunity to then layer perfumes. So when you do get, you know, more expensive perfumes, you may want to layer with something that you got from Marshalls or you got something from uh, Target and you never freaking know. It may smell so good. Lastly, tip number five. Tip number five. Number five. I got through this quick. Five. Five tips. Quick. Do not believe in the hype. Let me say it again for some people in the back. Do not believe in the the hype because if you go on youtube and you type in perfume collections and their their collections are running thousands of dollars because i've watched them and i love them I, I watch all my perfume girls their collections are running running pockets by me they want that coin and that's fine for them but if you're starting out start inexpensive and do not believe in the hype do not go out here and buy creed killian um tom for uh Ma mason and francis don't go out there and spend three hundred dollars on a fragrance because everyone else likes it because again a it may not go with your body chemistry you may not genuinely like the scent like do not go buy scents because everyone else is wearing it buy a scent because you like it do not go off of oh yeah everybody been talking about the time for e -E -I, -I, I gotta get that if the time for like me soleil blanc soleil blanc is hype everyone loves soleil blanc so blanc is 250 dollars 240 dollars and it's, it smells like sunscreen to me. It don't work well with my body chemistry, so I'm not going to buy Soleil Blanc. I'm not giving time for my money. But it's hyped, y'all. Do not believe in the hype. Please work best for you. Perfect example. I got this perfume for Christmas. It is a Jimmy Choo perfume. Jimmy Choo was not really talked about. And Jimmy Choo has the one of the best scents to me, and they're not real, real expensive. Oh. This is their floral scent. It is a sweet, pretty floral scent that I cannot wait to wear this spring. Don't believe in the hype. People ain't talking about Jimmy Choo. They're not. It's talking about Creed and Tom Ford and Mason Francis and, and Republica and everybody else. Don't believe in the hype. Please start your collection off on what you like, what you can afford, and what's going to go well with your body chemistry. Those are my tips, y'all. I can't stress this enough because I have people come to me like, oh my God, I want to try that. Da, da, da. I'm like, well, oh, perfect. Another one, opium. Some people love opium. Some people hate opium. Opium is that scent that's just like, mm. But it's hype. So people will go buy opium like, oh yeah, because all the girls are talking about that. Everybody talking about opium. If you don't like deep scents, mature scents, you're going to hate opium. You're going to spend that money and it's going to sit on your dresser. Don't believe in a hype. Don't do it. But that is it for this video. It was really quick. I hope I wasn't speaking too fast. I, was, I hope I was really clear with my points. And let me run through them again. A, take your body chemistry into account. B, 
I mean two B two whatever take a online quiz I will link two down below that I know of that are pretty good start with samples or smaller bottles four start inexpensive start inexpensive like I said start inexpensive don't don't spend don't spend your money and five do not believe in the hype when it comes to perfume and fragrances do not believe just because it costs more it's going to smell good on you or it smells good because I have smelled since it's like $300 for it. I'm like, oh my God, that stink. <laughs> like, even $120 for one bottle of perfume. I'm just like, I'm not paying for that. I don't want to pay. That stink. That don't smell good to me. Anything with leather does not smell good to me. Uh, but that is it for this video. I hope this helped someone out there who wants to get into fragrance, wants to start a collection. Let me know if you start a collection. Let me know if you've taken any of my tips and any, purchased any of the perfumes. I love you guys so, so, so much. I love you. 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 <laughs> I just want to say that because you guys have been showing out. And shout out to all the new subscribers here. This is the, this is the real me. I'm going to keep it a butt with you. Save your money. We frugal on this channel. But I'll catch y'all in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.